my phone. Alright. Back again with another Linux adventure on the PlayStation 2 with episode 3. Last episode. We did some uh, performance comparisons to the live DVD of Black Rhino. Had a bit of a play around online using the old net and some IIC and it functioned okay. So this time we're going to do a bit more than performance and we're going to look at some other hardware options we can explore later on down the track. Right, so I ordered this uh, component cable to RGB adapter in hopes that later on we can change the resolution of uh, Black Rhino and uh, see if we can start making it look a little more modern. And I've also got another hard drive here for Debian later on down the road. Now, this is the quality of the first image captured on my lousy DC60 USB device. And the image on the right is captured directly from my camera on my phone on the TV. Now, it's quite a noticeable difference, I must say. But we'll come back to that, so let's get into this episode. I think the first time I ever used XMMS uh, was back in the Red Hat days of the early 2000s, and at that time I was still a DOS and Windows kid, and one of my friends used to tell me how superior XMMS is to Winamp, so let's see if he was right. No soft jazz for this video, unfortunately, but just royalty-free music that is streaming off my file server, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Most of the bundled internet radio stations on here are pretty much dead now, so this should be enough for us to listen to music and do a little bit of work. We might even open up the uh, system monitor here and have a look at the specs while she's running. It's not too bad. Not a lot of RAM in use here, but the CPU performance is, is definitely up there. It's looking quite promising at this stage. Let's get Firefox open here. And uh, we'll open the system monitor also just to see how the system performs playing music while trying to load the heaviest app on the system. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Captain, she's maxed out on CPU power, but the memory is holding. <laughs> Still running okay for now. Now, I'm going to open up a website called uh, Video which is just a slap together website I was testing as an alternative retro video website for older power PC and OS 9 and Windows 5 generation computers and um, one of the things I use it for is uploading files on its file drop feature and it also actually works on Internet Explorer for Windows 3.12 so we'll bring this up and we'll see if we can upload a file Listen to that. We're going to have to check the system monitor out here to see how much stress she's under. This is probably the closest we've had to the uh, system fully locking up. Oh no. Now, in the original video, I was unable to hear the music as it was recording through my line in at the time. So, the rest of the audio is just a skipping mess. So, we'll go back to some easy listening, royalty free jazz. I'm going to open up another tab and I want to see if I can get the old Reddit website to work in this version of Firefox, but I'm not too sure if it will, but let's load up a tab and we'll wait for this file drop page to come up. Yeah, that's, that's still pretty slow. And yeah, it's still pretty slow with security errors. did this in the last video but let's do some more Star Wars running in the background here and then I'm going to open up a terminal and 
Mac OS and let's SSH into the uh, PlayStation 2 while we're running XMMS, Firefox, Xterm and see if that makes a difference on the uh, processing power here. The login is guessed and the password is also guessed and we'll log in and we'll go into super user. Right, let's load up some more Star Wars. We have a lot of Star Wars running here. And you can actually see in the system monitor, um, the SSH IP address is also there with the uh, data rates. There it is there. Firefox and all the other processes running. It's still going pretty good. The music is still playing at this point, uh, although it's garbled, the old Reddit page wouldn't load. The SSH is using a small amount of the network, and the SSH on my Mac is still running pretty smoothly. I wonder if I can SSH back into my Mac. Mm -hmm. All these security settings on the Mac end will probably uh, be a pain in the butt, but let's give it a go. Okay, nothing happened here. I should be able to ping it. Yeah, it's there. I'm not sure I want to want to spend time arguing with OS 11 security stuff, so we might just move on and come back to that at a later date. I'm going to stop the music playing now and I'm going to see if mPlayer will stream some music and hopefully some videos from the video server. Quite curious to see uh, what quality videos we could try. This, this first video um, is a 240p video, so nothing too strenuous for the uh, PlayStation. But we'll try an MP3 first. Same one we were playing on uh, XMMS earlier. Hmm. Can't open audio device. That's strange. Maybe when this program was compiled, it wasn't uh, including some of the PlayStation audio libraries. Who knows? This image here was actually the first kit I ever saw online of someone using. Uh, Linux on the PlayStation 2 and I was like wow you know this is 20 years ago so let's see if we can save one of these images and I'll upload it to my file drop server here it's saved and let's upload it to uh, video here here usually works on old systems quite well well usually so maybe Firefox is a bit funny with this one now oh, we'll come back to that another time let's go back to M player and uh, let's try and stream my first video of the uh, PlayStation 2 Linux series from the video server I'm guessing we'll get that same audio error yep is there. Ooh. Now this is quite strange because the uh, video window opens and it detects the file but there is nothing being displayed and uh, after searching through the keyboard commands I was able to skip forward and bam I could see the video but it wasn't playing normally. So back to the help section and I added no sound and the frame drop setting to the uh, command. working you beauty that's quite cool it's a bit sad it doesn't support the sound device but by all rights the system should be able to play video and audio at the same time so maybe let's use XMMS 
to play the mp3 file that's on the video server and see how much it pushes the system while we play uh, the video on mplayer. Bear in mind here we're also going to have XMMS, Firefox, Xterm, mplayer and SSH all running at once. Yeah that's working pretty good. Now, you can probably hear that uh, noise in the channel there from the PlayStation. I don't know if that's just the way it's been captured, but it's quite noisy. And the file that's currently streaming sounds a bit off. I think the system is uh, struggling. Quite an interesting little experiment. Uh, interesting to see what other formats we could stream and how high uh, quality of videos we could play on here because I know the system is capable of 1080 but that's for games I think but I wonder I really do so next time we're going to start getting into a little bit of code here's something I was mucking around with a bit earlier a few uh, rusty errors there